All right, welcome back to part 17 of this build Twitter project. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe and like this video and we will get started. All right, so in the last video, we filled out, um, well, we built these little links uh, below in the tweet each individual tweet card um, you know just because just to mirror what actual Twitter has and um, in this video we're gonna start like like start making these links work we'll do them one by one and maybe like one per video and we see we'll see how far we go and so what we'll do is, I think we'll start with, let's start with likes. Let's start with this. And maybe in the next video, we'll do the bookmarks and then we'll go into retweets. And um, then maybe replies. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll start with likes. So the first thing we have to do um, when we start with likes is, give me a sec, I think I'm recording. We have to create a likes table um, that belongs to a reference, that references a tweet and also references a user. I'm wondering if in Twitter there's more than one thing you can like. I have no idea. I am not really a Twitter user. <laughs> That's a hashtag called small dick image. Um, all right, we'll just we'll just um, just make the tweets individual tweets likable. Um, so we'll create a new model called like and, and it'll reference the tweet and also reference a user. We'll, uh, we'll run that migration. And like spec. will um, say this should belong to a user and it should belong to um, a tweet. We'll open up our user model and we'll say it should have many likes, dependent, destroy, and it should have many mm, liked tweets. No, I think I don't think we need that for now. No, we'll, we'll, it does need it. We sh it should have many liked tweets through likes source tweet. Mm. And in the tweet spec, It should have many, no, I don't think we need anything in the tweet model. Um, Cause we're gonna use counter caching to keep track of how many likes a tweet has instead of actually joining the tables. So in this case, 
in we're gonna open up the like model and it looks like it already has a belongs to tweet and belongs to user so we'll open up the user model and in here we'll say has the user has many likes and it has many liked tweets through likes and the source is the tweet on the likes table so if we do that that should work fine and it does work fine all right the next thing is is um we want to um, create the like so let's say we want to create a likes controller and in here we'll have this has to be only accessible if the user is logged in and we'll only have um, create and destroy method here and um, in our routes we'll have the likes routes and it'll only be for create and destroy okay now the next thing that we'll be doing is actually liking and unliking a tweet so what we have to do is we have to well first let's open up the tweet partial um, and here in the likes uh, let's actually, actually let's add this We'll say tweet has many likes, right? And we'll say tweet likes dot size. I don't know. Tweet, no, this is a tweet presenter, right? So tweet presenter. We'll say delegate likes to tweet. presenter likes tweet and they're all zero because we don't have um, we don't have any likes in the database right now so now what we'll do is is um, in this create method no actually in the individual tweet this link to will be I believe the route will be likes path yeah likes path likes path and Well, it'll be likes path, but we have to like a specific tweet. So ideally, um, what we have to do, I wish I could like clip this giant mic on my, on my shirt. Um, we should nest the routes um, from tweet to likes. Uh, so we actually, I think I wanna change, um, no, I think this is fine. 
Mm. What I want to do is I want to namespace this. So I'm going to create a new, because I'm, I'm thinking of a little bit into the future. And basically, users can users can like a tweet from the dashboard, and then they can also like a tweet from the individual tweet page, right? And the interface for these, it's very different. Um, like this is smaller, this is larger. Um, so. What I want to do is I want to have two different likes controllers. Uh, one is liking from not necessarily from the dashboard, but from a list of tweets. And one from the actual tweet page. But um, now that I think about it, I don't think it's super necessary. Maybe we can just have a likes controller and then we can also pass in a parameter. And in the controller, we determine where the request came from, like what page it came from. And then um, we can determine which logic that we fire in the create turbo stream ERB. Yeah, I think in this specific case, I don't really like having that kind of logic. Um, but I think for this specific case, it makes sense. So now nah, I'll just keep the same likes controller. And but this will be the route will actually be nested. So it'll be um, nested here. And I'm going to move this resources likes down here like this. Yeah, like that. And um, if we now run the bundle exec rails routes, the route, the, the, I guess the route helper method is tweet likes and with that, the link to will not be likes path, but it will be tweet likes path. And we're going to pass in um, tweet presenters tweet in there. Now, if we reload our app, um, you can see that this is now a link that sends a request to tweets, tweet ID, uh, likes. So let's say I click this. I want to see um, what kind of request comes in. It comes in as an HTML request, which is not what I want. And actually, in this specific case, I would want the data turbo method to be post. We do that. It looks like okay. Just to demonstrate, if I click that, the request comes into the likes controller create method as a turbo stream with the tweet ID of fifty five. Um, and since only the user, is, only the currently signed in user, is going to be able to like a tweet that's passed in. What we're going to be doing is um, we'll say current user likes create tweet. And I'm going to have a private method here. And I'm going to say I'm going to find the tweet here. I'm going to memoize this. this and um, 
and say respond to do format format dot turbo stream I think that was yeah it's turbo stream and in our views we're gonna have we're gonna create a folder called likes and we're gonna have um, create dot turbo stream dot erd and in here we are going to turbo stream replace to replace I'm gonna have to look this up is it turbo stream I need to see like a Ruby example Turbo stream replace. Okay, so it has to be Turbo Stream replace DOM ID tweet and then render partial tweets tweet locales tweet presenter tweet presenter and this dom id will target like it'll look through the list of tweets and it'll use this dom id by the tweet itself to locate the correct one and then um replace the individual tweet without reloading the entire page so if we do this and i click this it should increment and it just just did I can't believe that worked on, on the first try um, so anyways well that worked that was easy so um, while I was writing this I just thought of um, a few things that we have to add um, number one thing is we need to set um, a unique index on the um, on the likes table so that both the tweet and the user ID um, they're they're unique because a user can't like a tweet multiple times so there has to be a uniqueness uniqueness uh, constraint on the both on the two columns so the way we do that is um, we'll add, we'll run a migration We'll say add uniqueness constraint to likes. And in that migration, we will add an index to the likes table um, to the user ID and the tweet ID. And it'll be a unique true. I think this is how you do it. Add Rails add unique index. Yeah, that's how you do it. So I'm gonna run that migration. And once I run that migration, what you'll see is um if I now if I try to like this again, it won't work because it, it'll have a duplicate key, duplicate key value violates unique constraint error because, again, we can't um, create a duplicate like right. So that's good. Um, that's exactly what we want, and we also want to put um, the constraint here on the model as well. So we'll say uh, validates. Um, user ID uniqueness scope tweet ID so yeah so we'll um, we'll add that 
um, to the spec as well. So we just say it should validate the uniqueness of user ID scope to tweet ID. And if we run the specs again, I don't want to fight against the <laughs> shit and mattress, so we'll leave it as is. Uh, and the next thing is is um, I want to make sure that if the tweet presenter likes include current user then display the heart the, remember we downloaded two hearts the unfilled one and the the filled one the color one i want to show the um filled one like this like this All right, um, so that's good. Um, and now the next thing I wanna do is I want to be able to unlike a tweet. So I'm gonna say if tweet presenter dot likes dot include Current user likes find by tweet, tweet presenter, tweet, then okay, so first I'm gonna copy and paste this like this here, and then Get rid of these if statements. Like this. Then I want the, the link, like the anchor tag path, to be a delete request. Like this. And turbo method to be a delete. And here, what I want to do is I want to say a tweet and also that likes that find by user current. I want this to be like um, tweet that find likes find params ID and I want to destroy this like and then respond to do format dot turbo stream. And I'm gonna create 
destroy.turbostream.erb and um, in here I'm gonna have the same um, turbo stream callback like this if I do that I bet you that I'm gonna get rid of this if I click this it'll get unlight and this decrement decremented okay that works um, the next thing I want to do is um, I think I'm gonna have two parts to this um, liking video one is just making it work and the second part is actually making it nicer like refactoring some of this view logic adding a counter cache and, and just making things more performant because this is a lot of queries just to make this work um, so the last thing I'm gonna do before um, ending this video is is a uh, I'm gonna write some tests. So before I runs, before I write some tests, I always like to, well, in smaller apps, just because it doesn't take too long, just run run the whole suite again, just to make sure nothing has broken so far. And since nothing has broken, I'm going to um, create a like spec and have post blocks and delete describe blocks and I'm gonna have I'm gonna get rid of when not signed in like this authentication context I'm gonna say creates a new like it deletes And here what we'll have is we need to have both the user and the tweet so we'll say we'll create a new user here we'll create a new tweet here and before we run this test file we'll sign in the user We'll test the um, the likes first. And I expect to change the like count by one and expect response to have HTTP status success and if I run that spec file it um, doesn't pass but maybe hold on our spec test um, turbo stream request spec Pass XHR. I don't know if that'll work. It doesn't. Ah, format Turbo Stream. Really? Ah. I have to put it inside like this. That was really annoying. Ah, okay. Why 
why isn't that doesn't make sense to me why is that failing 9 12 tweet likes path tweet format turbo stream and it's failing on on line four it's failing um, right here I think what a good way to test this is as um have format dot html as well just for the specs and if we do that Still, ah, it's because I'm passing it in as Turbo Stream. If we get rid of that, it should pass. And there we go, it passes. And we'll do the same for uh, delete. We'll have um, the HTML format like this. And we'll say, we'll create a new like. And um, we'll delete it. And we expect that to change the like count by negative one, and we expect the response to have HTTP status redirect. If we run that, it still passes. Well, all right. Um, I think that is about what I want to get done in this video. The next video, I kind of want to refactor this and make things a little bit snappier. I mean, right now it's fast because it's a small app, but there's a lot of like ugly queries running here. So I want to refactor that and um, I want to get rid of some of this view logic. So, all right. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, thanks for um, watching me suffer through that <laughs> and uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, the standard stuff and stay tuned for the next video.